Hello, uh, my name is Dhruva Jayashankar. I'm a fellow in foreign policy studies at Brookings India in New Delhi. Uh, I'm here in Dhaka for uh, a BIPS uh, Conrad Adenauer Shifton conference on digitization. Um, I just uh, sp uh, spoke on a number of issues uh, where I see uh, uh, digital technologies and particularly the next wave of digital technologies affecting uh, a large number of issues related to both domestic and international policy uh, related to governance, related to security and related to economics. Uh, technology has always been a major driver of international relations and of politics and security and economics uh, from you know, ancient history to, to the present day. And so there's no reason why to believe that this will not have an effect in the near future. Um, in some ways, we've just we are emerging out of a first wave of digitization from the early 1990s to the near uh, uh, the recent past. Uh, I'd like to think of it as the iPhone era of technology because the iPhone is a sort of ultimate end product of, of uh, all, a set of t uh, developments that took place. Um, this uh, this this period coincided with greater democratization. Uh, changes to governance structures and certainly people's interactions with the state and also new kinds of economics, the rises of ser the service industries uh, and also finan global financial markets. But we're now in some ways at the, s the cusp of another era of digitization, a second wave of digitization if you will. And it's a number of new technologies, changes to computing uh, and storage, cloud computing and with, with applications like blockchain. Uh, emerging, which, which is to secure transactions between two or more parties. Uh, we're seeing changes of uh, 5G technologies, which is a new era, a faster speed telecommunications, 20 times faster than what we've become used to. Uh, changes to automation, uh, to artificial intelligence, the machine learning, uh, and also changes to uh, related changes to manufacturing and to energy sources. And combined, some of people have called this the fourth industrial revolution uh, that we are in the midst of right now. Now, this is having a number of applications. It's changing every facet of globalization, uh, the exchanges of goods, people, capital, information, and energy around the world. And so we're seeing the rise of uh, financial technologies like digital payments, uh, social media as a means of uh, disseminating information and news uh, and consuming that as well. Uh, we're seeing um, new energy sources emerge, mobile energy sources include, uh, and, and, and sustainable energy sources, uh, new kinds of manufacturing, e-commerce, uh, both wholesale and retail are being radically changed uh, in many ways uh, and also uh, we're, we're, we're seeing uh, new kinds of uh, service industries emerge, peer-to-peer -peer servicing like uh, Airbnb and Uber uh, uh, the, uh, uh, and a host of other new applications including by, the gov by governments. Now, what does this all mean? There will be many positive uh, changes associated with all of this, but I think it's also important to uh, focus, and, and what, this is what I've tried to do, on some of the potential negative implications, and this will be related to privacy, related to growing inequality that may emerge in various economies and lack of skill development. Uh, it will uh, relate to uh, security of critical infrastructure, uh, and, and, and also issues related to countering violent extremism, which, which have been uh, uh, in some ways well, well studied and better understood in the last few years. Internationally, I think there'll be another set of implications, whether it is new forms of international competition, including over data uh, and, and internet governance, whether uh, a, new, uh, a sort of reversal of globalization related to technological controls, uh, and, and also new kinds of security uh, implications, including uh, potentially more offensive behavior enabled by some of these technologies. This is not to say that all of this will be bad, uh, in fact, there'll be, again, many positive developments uh, emerging from this the second wave of digitization. But uh, I think it is incumbent upon all of us to start thinking about some of the potential negative implications as well. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I am uh, Dhruva Jayashankar, Fellow in Foreign Policy Studies at Brookings India in New Delhi.